I work in a field of research known as nanotechnology. This is a study of everything on the nanoscale, which is incredibly small. The nanoparticles we develop within our laboratory are about 100 nanometers in diameter, which is about 1,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. So I thought for my first slide tonight, I should show you one of these nanoparticles. To scale, of course, because I'm a scientist and I like to depict things accurately. You're going to have to believe me there's a nanoparticle up there. And you might be wondering why I've used a cheap opening joke with one of my three very precious slides tonight to show you this. But it's really important to convey just how small the nanoscale really is. Working on this scale has incredible advantages. Super eyesight for one, but also being able to use these nanoparticles we develop to get inside individual cells. We can change the surface of these nanoparticles to get them to be targeting certain cell types, like a cancer cell. And we can use these nanoparticles for the delivery of therapeutics and drugs to a site of interest, such as a cancer tumour. Now, I know what you all must be thinking now. Well, at least I can see something on this slide, Tristan. And you're right. We've got the Trojan horse. And the story of the Trojan horse and the Trojan war is an exciting one. And if you don't know it, you might have to look it up, because I've only got three minutes. <laughs> Essentially, the Greeks hid some of their best soldiers inside a large wooden horse. The Trojans, being a little naive, dragged within their castle walls. And you can say that was probably the last mistake they ever made. Now I want you to think about the story of the Trojan horse and think about our nanoparticles and then whack them together. That's exactly what we do within our laboratory here at the University of Western Australia. We are dedicated to developing nanoparticles for the treatment of a range of serious diseases. Cancer, cystic fibrosis, heart disease and traumatic burn injuries. For tonight, let's just focus on the cancer. Unfortunately, it would be a safe bet that everyone in this room would know of someone or has lost a loved one to cancer. What's more devastating than cancer, cancer statistics, sorry, is the barbaric way in which we currently treat cancer, chemotherapy. Now, chemotherapeutics are some of the most toxic drugs we have in our medical arsenal. Now, although they're very good at being able to kill cancer cells, they also have debilitating side effects. Patients lose their hair, they're vomiting all the time, nauseous, because literally their immune system is being ravaged by the toxic chemotherapeutics. What if we could use targeted nanoparticles to deliver those drugs directly to the site of need, such as the cancer tumour? What if we could use those nanoparticles to deliver drugs which didn't affect the immune system, leaving it healthy to have a fighting chance against the cancer itself? We are doing this right now within our laboratory here with our nanoparticles and novel drugs. We are building nano-sized Trojan horses. And we feel, just like the Greeks did with their Trojan horse, that ours too have the potential to revolutionise history. Thank you.